New tonight, being an organ donor can help the lives of many. With April being National Donate Life Month, a local hospital highlighted those who have given and received organ and tissue donation. KLTV7's Alex Weister has more on this event. Just very much given a gift of life. Over 100,000 people across the U.S. are currently waiting for an organ transplant. To honor those who have helped save lives, Krista's mother Frances in Jacksonville held a flag raising ceremony. April being National Donate Life Month, this event aimed to show others the importance of donating. One organ donor can save the life of eight people through organ donation and up to 75 people through eye and tissue donation. It has the opportunity to affect so many people in so many ways. In 2017, Chelsea Garrett's son Brandon agreed to become a donor. In 2019, he was involved in a tragic accident and died. He later had his organs donated, one of the recipients being a friend of his. It's, it feels wonderful. Uh, although Brandon's not here with us, he gave the given life. He'd been so proud. Of him. I just uh, had the opportunity to honor his wishes for him. And just knowing that these people live on because of Brandon's gift. Organ donations are a matter of life and death. Sherry Jenkins is one of the many who got a second opportunity at a healthy life, as 33 years ago she received a kidney donation from her mother. Without her mother and people like Brandon, Sherry wouldn't have been able to live on not only for herself, but them as well. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't be, I would be on Dallas's and it would be a poor thing of life. I wouldn't, uh, you know, I wouldn't. It, would, it wouldn't be a good life. You, you know, laying in a hospital bed, hooked up to machines all day, it's just not, it's just a poor quality of life. Alex Weister, KLTV 7 News.